Good evening. Yes, it's already really cold. All of a sudden, the sun went down below the tree line, and you can feel the temperature plummeting. Well, we always get the question, us meteorologists, how's this winter going to be? Is it going to be super snowy? Is it going to be really cold? Well, uh, most meteorologists will probably tell you it's tough enough predicting the next seven days out, let alone the next seven months. But the Old Farmer's Almanac, made right here in New Hampshire, actually gives us some answers to that. Here's what they're thinking for this winter's forecast. Cloudy with a chance of soft cuticles. Yep, you get all that and more in the yellow book many farmers across the U.S. reach for to get a glimpse into the future. Inside, you get weather forecasts, sunrise, sunset times, moon phases, and yep, beauty tips. According to the Almanac, if you rub grapes on your cuticles, they become silky soft. Now, that sounds great. But, of course, the all-important seasonal forecasts are what most people are digging into the book for. This winter doesn't look so nice, according to Sarah Perrell from the Almanac. Here in New Hampshire, below average temperatures, but the good news is uh, below average snow as well. So not as much snow as last year, but probably as cold as last year. The writers and forecasters for the Almanac use three scientific principles to make their outlooks, and they claim an 80% accuracy rate. We're actually using a formula that was devised in 1792 when the first uh, Farmer's Almanac came out. It's based on solar science, meteorology, and climatology. Given our current cool weather pattern and long-term weather models also saying a cold winter, this forecast looks like a good bet. Don't leave it. So we're back here in Bosco in tonight as the temperatures already have gone down probably about 10 degrees since the sun has gone down a little bit. We're in for a taste of winter tonight and it's a good idea to cover up any sensitive plants. We were talking to the folks here. They say your hardy mums should be okay. It might be smart to at least cover them, but some of your more sensitive plants like tomatoes per se, you want to just take something like a sheet. This is my, my pillowcase here and you can just drape it right over the beautiful flowers. That's where where you're most sensitive, the flower petals, throw it on and you should be protected from the near 20s and 30s that we're likely to feel early tomorrow morning. I'm meteorologist Haley LaPointe, live in Bosco.